Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 2020 Chrysler Pacifica with a 3.6 liter engine in it. I'm going to be showing you emissions component locations, some info about those components, possible codes, and some other info. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share while you're here, and we'll get going. This should be the same for 2017 to 2021 year models. This is your underhood label. This label has very important information on it or useful information on it. First is going to be the year. This one's a 2020. It tells you if you're US EPA or California certified emissions, your engine size and the emissions. So you have an EGR valve, an EGR valve cooler, a heated oxygen sensor. There's actually four of them on here. This means fuel injection. And last is your three-way catalytic converter. You have two cats on this vehicle that are monitored by the computer that could give you possible codes. So I'll point those out and a little bit more. You have a lot of components crammed under the hood. Here is your vacuum pump. This provides vacuum to the engine when the vehicle isn't running at stoplights, getting better efficiency and such. If you have a code P258A, your vacuum pump right there might be an issue. This is the EGR valve right here on the front of the engine up top. That's more like the bottom side of the EGR valve. You can see this is the connection to the EGR valve. And again, EGR valve, exhaust gas recirculation valve. This component is responsible for pulling burnt exhaust gas from the exhaust stream and putting it back into the intake to be burnt through the combustion process to give you a better fuel efficient vehicle. This is only on the vehicle to provide better efficiency and nothing else. If you're looking for a code P0404 or 406, your EGR valve might be uh, the issue or somewhere to start looking at. Getting down between the radiator and the engine, you're gonna have your oxygen sensors. This is the bank two side. Bank two sensor one, this is the sensor responsible for telling the computer how much fuel to give or take away from the engine to make it run properly. Trying to keep it at 14.7 to one on the air fuel ratio. That's how the computer knows how to adjust it. The bank two sensor two. This is a oxygen sensor that is used by the computer to measure the efficiency of the catalytic converter and should not affect drivability. If you're looking for a P0158, a P0151, or a P0430, these sensors and or catalytic converter might be a good place to start. Make sure if you ask away if you have any questions in the comment below or hit up Scotty's Auto Talk at 925-418-5096 or send me an email. Do my best to help you out. On the back side of the engine, between the engine and the firewall, you're gonna find the bank one oxygen sensors. First is the bank one sensor one. This is the oxygen sensor responsible for telling the computer how much fuel to give or take away from the engine. And right below, you're gonna have the bank one sensor two. Again, this is gonna be a sensor used by the computer to only check the efficiency of the catalytic converter and should not have anything to do with drivability or drivability issues. On this side, this is gonna be a P0137, a P0132, or a P0420. Those are some of the most common codes on the bank one side. Remember on your underhood label, it mentioned something about a EGR cooler. Well, I didn't intend to point it out in this video, but I wanted to make sure I did since it is listed on the emissions components. Right here in the front between the radiator and the engine is your EGR cooler. You can see right there, it says EGR CLR. That might mean EGR cooler hose. I'm not sure, but that's the actual cooler itself. Back to the top side of the engine, you're gonna find a couple more emissions components, but this hose right here running around the intake manifold, that's your PCV hose. I'm gonna show you the PCV valve location pretty soon, and it's actually much easier to replace than it looks. But first, here is your emissions vapor purge solenoid or valve. This is the solenoid or valve responsible for releasing vapors from the emission system into the intake system to be burnt through the combustion process and cleaned up through the catalytic converter to be burnt out of the tailpipe. Now, the PCV valve. Make sure you check out my other videos because I do have a video on replacing this and it's way easier than it looks. So make sure you take a look at that before you go too far. The PCV valve is located on the bank one valve cover on the driver's side, right there. That's the hose that was wrapping around the intake manifold I just showed you a couple seconds ago. And PCV valve, positive crankcase ventilation valve. This valve is responsible for allowing blow-by built up in the engine 
to go back into the intake and burnt through the combustion process again and through the tailpipe, through the catalytic converter to be cleaned up and sent into the atmosphere. That's pretty much it on this vehicle. That's a lot jammed into the short video, but hopefully it helped you on your start of your DIY diagnostic or your DIY repair. Make sure you check out my other videos. I have a ton of videos covering this vehicle maintenance wise and repair wise. Brakes, emissions, air filter, cabin air filter, PCV, a lot of stuff. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Tell everybody about me, and I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video.